guys, welcome back to a brand new video on Marvel Contents of Champions. What we're doing today is we're going to go over everything that is different between the Chinese version as well as the English or international, whatever version you want to call it. Essentially, this version is only available in China and that doesn't include Taiwan. It doesn't include Hong Kong. I don't know what's happening there. They don't even have a uh, game there. It doesn't include Japan. It doesn't include I because some of the other viewers have been asking me. Hey, I got a Japanese account. I can't get it. I'm like um, You know basically it has to be in the China Chinese app store or the China app store rather um, It doesn't include Korea as well <laughs> All right, so essentially it doesn't include a bunch of other stuff, but you know basically you can only get in the Chinese app store so Anyways, let me get out of here and we're going to go over everything that is new. Hopefully, we'll be able to go over it really quickly, but, you know, it's going to take a while. So, you know, um, get ready to <laughs> go over everything that is new in this game. Um, what we have here is the battle. This is the button. Hopefully, you can see the highlight there. And then what we have here is the champion selection or your champions. This one's the crystals. This one is, whoops, not that one. This one is the leaderboard this one is the alliance with the two there so somebody is asking for help or something this one is essentially your storage space and then of course the last one is the where you buy your stuff all right so you know the basic of the new version is that there are multiple servers so there's not only one servers there's 16 in servers in total i believe or 17 so far anyways they're gonna release more all right, so I don't know what that says, but, you know, it probably says connection lost or something. Let me go on over here. So here it is. You have 18 servers now. Wow, you know, it was 17 before. Now it's 18. All right. <laughs> so there's 18 servers in total and surprisingly on various servers because on 17, right, I think I've gone... I don't remember who I got. Ah, let me go on in here. We'll go on in there together. So we can take a look at it. Essentially, you get certain characters if you go on to certain servers. That's what I think too because one of my uh, friends joined me on server 16. And, you know, we, we noticed that we got same character. So, at the beginning anyways. Yeah, I got Colossus or Black Bolt in the server. And the other one, we both gotten... Uh, it's the same other character as well. Let me collect this. This is the daily kind of quest event or whatever that's there. Let me get out of here. So there's a bunch of stuff that is new. This game is like completely new. They're, you know, it's very different. And you can just switch between accounts on different servers easily. You don't even need to log in. You just tap there and there and there we go. That That's basically it. You know, you, it's not that hard. And... One of the greatest things I feel about this is that I was running out of energy. So I was like, all right, let's swap into my other account. And, you know, I didn't have to remember the password or nothing. So that's really good. Let me go on in here. The crystals. Let's talk a bit about the crystal. I think everyone wants to know about the crystal. I heard the last one, the buy 10, right? I don't have enough units. But I heard if you buy 10, you are guaranteed a certain star character. But I can be, you know, completely wrong. But... There it is. There's the cost of it. And this is the Deadpool crystal. We will take a look at the Deadpool crystal a bit later on. Uh, this is the Alliance one, of course. And I think this... I thought this was the Daily crystal. But I think it's the Quest crystal now. Because, I don't know. I It looks like there's no Daily crystal. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Or it could be auto-collected. Because I haven't collected any of this thing. It just showed up. So, let's see. Open it. All right, we gone. Oh. Oh, okay. So it does open only 10. I thought it was opening like 20 at a time. That would be, you know, crazy. But that's what we gone. And let me get out of here and go back in here. Let's go over the battles and some of the difference. There is autoplay in the arena. That's all I got to say unless, unfortunately, the arena, they did fix it though. If you see these things, you can only play the arena with a character for a certain amount of time. Then you need to use units to recharge it yes and then after and it costs 50 units after you recharge it, i think you notice it's like saying zero out of six or something right basically you could use the character six times i believe because right now it's not waiting on the timer it's waiting on me to spend units to refresh it 
Because I can't play anymore. I guess that will keep the arena score low. I'm assuming, you know, that is the strategy behind it. But I can't use it anymore. He, you know, the, I have to use units to refresh it. Or not refresh it. I mean, gosh, it just doesn't work like it did in the international version. Now, of course, here are the battle arena. I guess that is why you also, you know, have the ability to buy these shards. These are actually shards. They're not actually the characters. So they're doing something like the biometrics, just like uh, Future Fight. And I don't know. I think this is the actual catalyst. These are, I think those are actually the catalyst. It used, there used to be an alpha callus in here, but it shifts. You notice it, at the bottom there's a timer. Once the timer goes up, essentially it changes. You, you're not going to get the same item. This is the arena that has been completed. This is, you know, accessory equipment, whatever you want to call it. But I didn't play in it. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's get out of there. We're going in here. This is, surprisingly, this is a vibranium sector kind of thing. Now, you know, I only played the first stage because in the tutorial they made me... Oh my god, Magneto's event. Oh, I'm not... I'm no little... <laughs> I've been moved, which kind of stinks. And you get two daily events. You get the blue one and the green one. And I'm assuming they're going to change that as well. Like, the colors. Going to move in here. Alright, so I'm still in Chapter 1. And... There's actually two second section <laughs> sections. Uh, there's two sections. This is normal mode. This is hard mode. Hard mode allows you to get the equipment and things like that, like the gauntlets, the boots, the armor, and you have to play through the stage. It looks a bit different. Let me go on in here. I'll show you. It looks different, but it's pretty much the same thing. The looks. I think it's Ultron stage for Chapter One. Yeah. So there's these moving animation there. It's pretty cool. Get out of there. And I was going over the vibranium. The vibranium, you need it to actually do um, the upgrades on your equipment. So that's what the vibraniums are for. Let's end this. I want to show you that there's actually a fast forward button now. Which allows you to... It's not just autoplay. There's autoplay. I've done a video on that. But this one, like, let's say th this character... I don't feel like fighting him, so I just use that. And there we go. I mean, it, it just defeats the enemy. But we do lose health. That's the thing. It's not like, hey, it's a, like, you know, one of those things will win for sure. And you have to beat the enemy to be able to use it. Notice we can't use it now. But going on in here, we're going to look at the autoplay. It's pretty much the same as before. I like it. I mean, you could choose to like it or not. It doesn't really matter. But, you know, personally, you know, while it's autoplay, which, you know, the AI is not that smart, but it's still doing a good job at winning. Obviously, if you have your PI up and you level up your characters. Gosh, we're still getting hit. It makes you feel bad. But, you know, autoplay is autoplay. I like autoplay because, you know, it, it really take, um, allows you to, to do other stuff while, I don't know, <laughs> while you want to progress in the game as well. And some of the stages are repetitive, so, you know, it, it's a great thing to have for most players, for most games, in fact. Like, right now, I can just set it on autoplay, and then I can check up again on uh, other things, maybe some text message, if I have another phone, that is. So, or if you're playing on the iPad, of course, uh, you can check up on some sites, news, and things like that. Usually, a battle takes how long? About a minute or so? So, you know, I guess in autoplay, it's kind of... It actually takes a bit longer. <laughs> I don't know. It might, it might be like two minutes or 1.5 minutes. Yeah, somewhere around there. So you can check up on other stuff. So that, that's one of the things that is good. All right, we're gonna try to finish the stage and then we'll go over some of the other stuff. The arena credits. I'm not sure how. Wow. I see what I mean by news. News! You, <laughs> you get surprised with news. Can we use this? Alright, so this is another good thing, of course, you know. You don't want to waste so much time watching the battles. Obviously, there's the same animation. Of <laughs> so there's really no point. But <laughs> well, let me go back in here. We're going to battle Black Bolt. I'm looking at Transformers the last night. That's what I saw. I'm like, wow, Transformers. It's been a while since, you know, they released a... 
What do you call it? A Transformers movie. All right, we're going to take out Black Bolt. There we go. We're going to go over some of the other stuff after this battle. And we don't have to fight the last boss. That's the greatest thing. If you remember um, Act 4, essentially, you have to go through it multiple times, right? I hate it when you have to fight the boss again. And, you know, using the tickets. I don't, even, I don't have to fight the boss that much. You just go like this. Bam! There we go. I mean, it's not that I can't fight them. It's just that the amount of time and concentration that you need to put into it. Uh, you know, it's a bit strainful <laughs> for me, I guess. But let's go over here, and we're going to go over the characters. All right, so going into the characters. This is what I mean by biometrics. Notice I have 10 Punisher Shards, and I have, like, 5 Storm, uh, 20 Black Widow. Essentially, you don't really get the characters. What is happening here is you get the shards. When you buy it using the battle credits, you really get the shards, and then you have to add up to get the characters. Going on in here, there's a premium crystal. There's a four-star, or also known as a three-star in the English version, five-star crystals. So there is no two-stars in this game. All the three-stars are actually four-stars in, in the international version. And... There's no two stars. Actually, there is two stars. Basically, it's a one star. There's no one star. That's what I mean. <laughs> All right, let's go out of here. And maybe we'll go back into the character section. So there is the equipment. I like the equipment. It looks good. And going on in here. All right, I don't have any vibranium. Essentially, you need to get vibranium to level up these uh, equipment here. You notice I have like 7,102 out of... I guess 7,120. Almost leveled up there. But I use up my Vibranium, unfortunately. But you can get more Vibranium through the event I showed you. Let me go on in here. I'll show you the event. Gosh, I'm super duper sleepy. <laughs> Alright. So here is the Vibranium. And you, you can get the Vibranium from just completing these events. Let's go over here. What else do we have? Oh, right. You know this this button, right? This button is not to, well, I guess it's it's not really to rank them up. I don't know how to, how I should say it. Maybe it's to rank them up. Essentially, what happens is when you have enough shards, right, you'll be able to change your gray Captain America to the green one. And in the green, like the green frame, right, in the international version is a one star, but not in this version. Going on in here, you get this orange color once you max it out. Let's go back out of there. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the character. Let's go analyze this this Iron Man here. So here's Iron Man, and this is the Max version. He has Thor as well as... Is that my phone? Alright, he has Thor as well as Captain America's bonus. Of course, some of the stuff, I have no clue what it says. Like, you know, the, the skills and things like that. I'm still <laughs> trying to get used to it. I went over the crystal already. This is the leaderboard. So, there are purple. I don't know which. I think purple might be the highest one. I don't know. I mean, no, wait. The orange should be the highest one. Because, you know, we looked at the four star and max. I guess the purple is for the five star. And then you have the, well, then again, there's Wolverine. So, I guess the purple is the second rank. Or third rank, because the second one is green. All right, I don't get these things, forget it. So anyways, there's colors. There's different colors. There's purple, orange, blue, green. And, you, you know, you get biometrics or DNA, whatever you want to call them, shards, like in uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and then you rank them up. And they do become stronger. Here is the alliance. They do have the same, like, they have similar quests, but I have no clue what it says. So I'm really... Unfortunately, I'm not contributing that much. I mean, I don't even know how I got 140 there. I'm sitting here. Gosh, guys, <laughs> can you translate? And surprisingly, the great thing is they actually can speak English. I mean, some of them anyways. I like, yeah, there we go. <laughs> See, why are we talking in English? <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, going on in here, storage, you know, you have the... Equipment, you have the callus as well as the ISO 8, 
And then here we have this chest. I don't know what this chest is. Maybe we'll open one and see what it is. Oh, we got vibranium. That's cool. All right, so I now I can show you how to use the vibranium. That is just awesome. All right, so let's go in here. No, wait. Trying to figure out the menu here. So going on in here, vibranium. You're going to level up the shield armor. And essentially, you go there. Put the vibranium down there. There we go. So that's how you level it up. Let's go back out of here, out of here, out of there. Let's go in here. Yeah, so there's those chests, some other stuff there. And you can buy these things. So this is what you can buy there using your battle chips. And we do have some battle chips. I don't know how I got them though. I think I already went over this. Oh, right. There's VIP. That's why I wanted to show you. So VIP. There's 16 levels in VIP. I haven't figured out what they mean, though. But it looks like... It looks like... Um, if I just get, get to the last section. All right. So... No, 15. 15 is the last one. So, you know, it says 1,000. I mean, 15,000 something. And then VIP level 15, you get to chess. I'm not sure what's like. Like, we gotten some good stuff out of those chess. And you get another chess. Battle chips, I think that's 35x, and then you get like storage space plus 200. I think you get gold of 600. I mean 60x. I'm just looking at the numbers. I can't look like, and then I did a little translation on Google Translate. So, you know, I know it's like times, right? One of the words in there is time. So energy, I think you get like 35 times. I don't know. I mean, that's somewhere uh, what I'm guessing, but. You know, if you know what it says, you could always let me know in the comments below. And I do want to thank you for that. Uh, going back out of here. Let's see what we have here. All right. Here is the potions. I'm not a big fan of the potions. Like, really. Let's go back out of here. And, of course, this is where you buy your thing. And, I, I, you know, I can't, I can't buy anything because I'm never going to be able to get... The currency so you know i won't be able to buy it here are some of the bonuses if you play today and we did pick up 100 uh units already which is nice i guess if you log in for a total of 50 days i'm not sure, even sure if it's, it means 50 days there but you know you, you can get a bunch of units this is what you get for vip spider-man at level six at level five at level four all right you have Ultron at level 15. I guess that's how the guy got Ultron. Oh, my God. So, anyways, that's how he got an Ultron. Going it down a bit more. You got these. What are these? So this is like, I see five something. But I don't know what it means. But this is only available to VIPs. Going down a bit more. Go in here. So these are free stuff available to you if you uh, play for one day, two day, three day, four day. This one is the quest. So it's actually there are quests in this game. Once you come, like notice these things are grayed out, right? That's because we already collected the rewards. I already completed the quest. I want to complete this quest, but they want me to buy something. So forget that. So this quest is asking you to buy something as well. I think this one is asking you to use energy. So the quests are nice. I like the quest edition. What else do we have? I don't know what this is, but I think if you log in, you pretty much have the ability to pick them up. Yeah, this is daily login. So if you log in every day for a total of 30 days, you know, you can make out the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And especially when I logged in before. So if this one, oh, wow. Oh, my VIP level one, no. How did I get Storm if I wasn't VIP? Oh my god, they probably changed it. Please don't tell me you changed it to VIP Oni. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they changed it to VIP Oni. Or maybe not. I don't know. I got in the units. All right. I think that's pretty much it, guys. I don't have anything else to go over other than this. You know, I pressed on this. I don't really know what it means. But, like, it, it, I guess it's, like, increase your gold or something. I guess we could spend and buy that. Oh, we got, oh, all right, so they're letting us buy gold. So you can buy gold there if you want. And energy, energy costs a lot. I don't, I don't know, I think energy is quite expensive. Hey, but we completed a quest once we did that. 
or two quests. That's good. That's very good. There we go. We completed quests. I like it. I like it when we complete quests. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you could all. Oh, right. The you know, biggest question that I've been asked is how do you get this game or the Chinese version? It's actually you. I don't know about Android. I do want to apologize about that. I don't have an Android and, you know, I don't know how to use Android. So essentially, you know, I think you could download the Android version from somewhere, but I got no clue how to use the Android version. Uh, if you do, you could always let me know in the comments section below, but I haven't figured out. Apparently, in Google Play, it's really hard to switch countries, and I mean really hard. So that thing, it, you know, that's why I don't use Android as much, but for Apple, I... <laughs> Apple iOS devices, you could get it by switching country. Yes, you can switch your country from any other country to any other country. And, you know, I'll put a link somewhere, you know, somewhere around there or maybe there or somewhere uh, where or maybe in the description where on a video I made where you can, you know, where I showed you how do you can switch countries. But anyways, that is about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you like this video. Please be sure to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to your channel if you're new. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back in the next video. <laughs>